In this video, we will cover initial setup and features of the Vueroid Dashcam app. Go to the App Store on your phone and download the Vueroid Dashcam app. Once installed, open up the Vueroid app. Then, move over to the dash cam and press Wi-Fi, which is the button all the way to the right. In the app, once the pop-up screen appears, tap OK to connect to the dash cam Wi-Fi. Then look for a Wi-Fi network that looks just like this. Tap on the network and type in the default password, which is 12345678. Once connected, you have a few things that are displayed the status of your device you are connected to, enabled or disabled the Wi-Fi, a live view of the front or rear camera, your recorded videos, history, and trip data of your previous travels, and the settings. First, let's look at the live viewer so we can check our install angles and make any adjustments as needed. In live view, you can mirror the image, take a snapshot of the current camera angle, display the camera at full screen, switch the view from front to rear camera, and settings for the Advanced Driving Assistance System, or ADAS. Let's click on ADAS. In this screen, we will have several different settings, including adjusting the area and sensitivity of ADAS. You should align the box with the center vertical blue line to be in the center of the lane and the horizontal line to be on the horizon line. You can also adjust the lane recognition sensitivity on either side of the vehicle by pressing the up or down arrows. Tapping the back button twice will get you back to the main menu. Next, we have File Viewer, which is where you can find all of your recorded videos. In here, there are different ways to view your videos. You can view only the videos tagged as events, which is any time the dash cam has alerted you. Parked, which shows you events that have happened while your car was parked. Manual, which shows you videos where you press the manual record button on the dash cam. And last, we have Phone. This shows you any videos that you have saved to your phone and are not currently stored on the Dashcam's SD card. This is also where you will find any screenshots you have taken. Tapping the back button will get you back to the main menu and you will hear a prompt to let you know that the loop recording has started again. Next we have History. In here you will see any drives that you have taken since the device has been installed. Each trip has the recorded mileage, trip time, any events that happened, and your max and average speed. If we click on the map icon in the upper right hand corner, you will get a travel log, which can then show you the route you took on the map for each trip. Tap the back arrow three times to get back to the main menu. Last, we have settings. In settings, you can set your preferences for the recording, event, sound, time, memory, and system. There are a few settings you will want to change on your initial setup. First, scroll to Time and set your time zone or standard time. Next, scroll down to System and set your speed to miles per hour. After that, your dash cam is all set up and you are ready to hit the road.